Naibu Rais Rigathi Gashagwa maahidi serikali itaimarisha uchumi samawati pwani mwa Kenya ili kuwezesha wavuvi kuendesha shughuli zao kwenye mazingira yaliyo salama. Gashagwa alizungumza haya eneo la Liwatoni jijini Mombasa katika shughuli ya uzinduzi wa boti sita za kushika doria ambazo zimeigharimu serikali shilingi milioni tatu na sita. It is my pleasure joining you today for the launch of six patrol vessels costing about 306 million with the support of the government of Japan. They will be hardy in dealing with illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing and surveillance within Kenyan's territorial waters. This is uh, not the first time that we are presenting these uh, kind of patrol vessels. We have already in the past presented 19 vessels to the Kenya Coast Guard Service. Uh, and this is because the partnership between Japan and Kenya is probably one of the most important in the uh, continent. And uh, particularly on the free and open Indo-Pacific, which my government is promoting. In order to fully realize the potential of the blue economy, there is a need for a lot of capacity building of the people. And I have no doubt that Kenyans are capable of having these uh, capabilities, but it is a question of having the institutions. Sisi ni watu ya maendeleo na ndio tumekuja hapa kwa sababu ya hii boats ya kukagua na kuweka ulinzi ndio samaki ile iko katika bahari ikuwe ni ya kusaidia wakaaji wa pwani na wa Kenya kwa jumla. Naibu Rais pamoja na Waziri wa Madini na Uchumi Samawati Salim Mvuria wameelezea nia ya serikali kuhakikisha wavuvi wote wako kwenye vyama vya ushirika pamoja na kuhakikisha usalama wao baharini. Hii bahari mlipewa na Mwenyezi Mungu bure ikuwe ni ya kusaidia nyinyi. Unajua nyinyi mko na bahati si kama kwetu. Kwetu ndio upate mboga, lazima ulime, utie bolea, upige dawa, kazi mingi. Nyinyi hii bahari ni kuingia tu, samaki mmewekwa na Mwenyezi Mungu ni kuchukua na kuhama. Kwa hivyo <laughs> serikali itafanya kila juhudi ya kuwezesha nyinyi. Ndio ile mlipewa na Mwenyezi Mungu ikuwe ni ya kumsaidia tutashirikiana na nyinyi wale wavuvi tuhakikishe wako kwa vyama za ushirika zile BMUs tuhakikishe kuna landing sites na tuhakikishe tumeimarisha usalama e, katika fuo ya bahari na sehemu zote za uchumi samawati aidha gavana wa kaunti ya Mombasa Abdusoma Sharif Nasir amelalamikia hatua ya mamlaka ya baharini nchini KMA kuwataka wavuvi kurejea shuleni kupata vibali vya uvuvi anavyodai viko ghali mno Kenya Maritime Authority na namuona PS yuko hapa pia Kuna chaji wanawachaji hawa wavuvi kama driving license fee Sasa unaambiwa hawa watu tatizo lioko wanaambiwa waregee tena waweze kusoma kwenda kufanya ile tatizo sio hiyo ile gharama ya kuambiwa waende kusoma unaambia mtu alipe maelfu ya shilling aende akasome kitu ambacho hata yeye anaweza kumfunza yule ambaye kwamba anaambiwa msomeshe yeye tuwaonee huruma katika wakati huu wa uchumi mbaya hawavuvi waende kuvua wakiwa wamefuata sheria wamepata vibali vyao bila tatizo lolote jengine e vile vile amependekeza serikali kuzingatia upana wa kaunti ya Mombasa kwa kujumuisha eneo la ndani ya bahari na si tu kufikia ufuoni wakati wa ugavi wa pesa za kaunti ikiwa tunaangalia ndani ya bahari misamba ya marefu ya kaunti ya Mombasa haimaliziki katika ufuo inamalizika ndani kilomita kadhaa ndani ya bahari kwa hivyo sisi tunataka hii sabu ya Mombasa kuangaliwa ukubwa wake isiangaliwe ya kwa ni udogo tuangaliwe ya kwa paka tumeweza kufika ndani ya bahari ili mgao wetu uwe unazidi kama vile tunaangalia ya kwa blue economy uchumi samawati uweze kuongezwa na nadhani itakuwa ni sawa hatutoweza kuumia kama tunavoumia sasa hivi na... kwa upande wake mbunge wa Mvita Mohamed Mashele ametoa wito kwa Wizara ya Madini na Uchumi Samawati kutoa elimu kwa wavuvi pamoja na kuwezesha na vifaa vya kisasa mimi kwa waziri wetu 
ambaye ni mzee wetu ni mtani wetu tuhakikishe vijana wapate training ndani ya mambo ya blue economy vijana wapate fishing gears wapate kujua uvuvi huu wa kisasa bridge zimekuja zimetengezwa coral zimevunjwa dredging imefanywa lakini compensation zao paka sasa zimelala so tutaomba wizara tumeshukuru wizara imekuja nyumbani tuhakikishe wazee wetu wapate malipo yao John Vincent Runinga ya Alshifa kutoka Mombasa